Hello friends. My name is Sumit and I welcome all of you to video series of BISPtrainings.com. Many of you will be facing issues like once you have set up or installed Jenkins on Ubuntu but you have forgot its credentials and now you will be facing difficulty in recovering same. So in this video I will be going to demonstrate you that how can you recover username and password of Jenkins within Ubuntu. So this is a very common scenario. We used to have Jenkins username and password while setting up Jenkins. Now I have forgot my credentials. Even I have forgot my username as well while setting up the which I have which I have given while setting up Jenkins. So I would like to recover both of them. So let's have a look how we can do that. So first of all, let's check whether Jenkins is working or not. So I simply pass a command a URL 127.0.0.1 colon 8080 and as soon as I press enter I got this welcome screen from Jenkins which asked me to provide the username and password. So it means that Jenkins services are running. Now the issue here is I forgot my credentials. I forgot my username and password. So now how I am going to recover them. So in order to do that, first of all, I would like to know the location where the Jenkins has been installed. So the Jenkins by default, the Jenkins installed on computers where under where we have lib and in lib we have Jenkins folder within Jenkins. Jenkins and in Jenkins I'm getting one folder here named as users. So this folder contains all the registered user within Jenkins. So let's have a look. I open this and I found there is one user named as BISP solutions. So that's the name of my user. So that's my username. So the folder name or the directory name is your username. So my username is BISP solutions. Now I would like to recover its password. There are two ways to do that. Either we can create a new user or first we can delete this. We can remove this user from the user section and then we can create a user with same name and while we are doing that it will retain all its services all its permissions which has which are given to this current user we uh, by simply removing this directory removing this user and creating a new user again with same name it will retain all the existing permissions which are provided which are given to this particular user so I'm going to do same. First of all, let's have a look. How can we create a new user? Because if I look here, I'm not getting any option to create a new user. I'm only getting an option to provide the credentials to create a user to log in into my uh, Jenkins interface. I'm not getting any option here to set up a new user to create a new uh, user. So first of all, let's have a look. How can we get a, an option on this screen so that we can set up a new user or we can create a new user. So for that we need to get to the terminal window in terminal window uh, because the Jenkins directory is in where directory in where so I where in ls there is a lib so cd lib cd lib and cd Jenkins within Jenkins folder there is a directory here named as or there is a file named as config.xml so we need to 
customize this file but because it's a protected folder so we cannot customize this file directly from here if i try to do that you can see the save option is not highlighted so i'm not able to customize this file di by directly right click and open with get it folder. so i need to pro i need to give credentials for this i need to get permissions so to get permissions i pass a command sudo get it config dot xml it will ask for the credential the administrator password of ubuntu so i provide my credentials i provide my password bisp and now i would be able to customize this you can see the save button has been highlighted successful once this config.xml file is open in edit mode i get here disabled sign up by default it is true i set this to false save it close it that's all but before getting that option on this interface we need to reset the services we need to reset the jenkins service so to reset jenkins service i pass a command service jenkins restart and again it will ask for credentials i provide my credentials password the if you want to find out if you want to know whether service is working or not service is running or not so command will be service jenkins status and you can see, you can see the jenkins service has been successfully activated so it's working right now let's have a look so i reset this screen i reset my url and now successfully i'm getting an option here create an account if you are not a member yet so by clicking on this option by clicking on this link i would be able to create a new user i can provide my details uh, provide credentials for a uh, new user user i can provide provide username password full name and email address and once i click on sign up a new user will be created that's one way but i would like to update the password of the existing directory existing user so in order to do that first of all i get to users and here i'm going to remove this existing user from here so to remove existing user again i need to pass a command and the command is sudo rm minus rf and bisp solutions you can see the user has been successfully removed and now we can set up a new user so i again logged in i again pass a url 8080 and now i'm going to create an i click on account i use the same name sp solutions and now i can provide new credentials so admin hash one five by full name bisp solutions email address i provide my mail address and click on sign up and you can see i have successfully logged in into my interface so now i know my username i know my password and you can see again within jenkins user directory the user has been created successfully once we done all the changes once we reset the password again we need to get to that particular config.xml file we need to open that config.xml file now uh, i pass a wrong statement because i'm in user right now so i need to move out from here so cd slash where slash lib slash jenkins and config.xml and again i set this to true now the idea behind setting up this true or false is once we set up this true or false we would be able to get this particular option now because i have again set this to false i have again set this to true i'll save this close it again i pass a command to restart the service to restart the jenkins service and now when i refresh it this particular option will be disabled
so like this we can secure our Jenkins that unauthorized user would not be able to register themselves without administrator permission so that's all in this video I hope you found this video interesting and useful if that's so don't forget to press the like button if you have any queries you can write to us on www.bispretrainings.com or you can share your comments in within this video as well keep watching have a nice day goodbye